Everyone, I'm Nate. And I'm Abby. Amelia's taking a nap. Popeye is battening down the hatches at home. Where are the RC sailors? Welcome to our RC family. I'm pretty excited because we're we're outside, guys. We've been having some fun with drones outside. Unfortunately, the last couple days, the drones have been duds, expensive duds at that. So I am excited to share this drone with you. This is the MJX uh, X708P. It's kind of a funny name. We'll have it linked in the description box below if you want to check it out for yourself. But this looks to be a pretty awesome drone. When I say awesome, I just mean I hope it all works. This is an optical flow position drone, which is kind of new for MJX. We haven't seen very many drones that have optical flow positioning for them. What does that mean if you're new to the hobby? It just means there's a very tiny camera on the bottom of the drone that looks at the ground and says, hey wind, you're pushing me to the left, so I need to push back to the right a little bit to make sure that doesn't happen. This is a Wi-Fi FPV camera drone. We've got our camera fixed pitch mounted at the front of the drone, so I do hope that's a good angle. We'll test that out for you guys in the flight. We have a nice universal battery connector type on the back of the drone here. It comes with everything you need to get it in the air. This is a 550 milliamp single cell LiPo battery. I like that. Should have a decent flight time. We got a USB charge cable, a nice little screwdriver, our instruction manual, which is really nice four spare props and screws in there we have our phone mounting system prop guards for a new pilot it's like training wheels put those puppies on there if you're new to flying this is a beginner friendly drone and a very nice transmitter I like their transmitters they're clean they're sleek they're simple they keep the layout the same with their big red go button I like this a lot I think the best thing to do is going to be to put this in the air and see how it flies and uh, I'm, I'm just I'm just so happy to this is February guys February in Kentucky and we're outside and I'm not wearing a coat Let's fly a drone. So let's take off. Let's unlock our motors and give it some throttle Now the breeze picked up and that's good. I'm excited. Let's get this in the air just for a second I want to try to get it in a spot and I think I need to increase the rates for it To help it fight the winds. I think that was rates Yeah there's the higher rate, and oh, it's just not fighting this breeze at all. I'm, I've let go of the sticks there. Okay, okay, good. Now that I've let go of the sticks, it is actually fighting the breeze. So that's kind of interesting. Oh, that windsock's broken. It doesn't do a good job. No, it's windy though. <laughs> and, and I'm not touching the sticks at all right now, and it's holding. So let's get the drone to face us. So it's like when I let go of the sticks, it says, okay, I'll take over. I got it, man. There's us. It's not bad. The Wi-Fi feed looks okay. I'm gonna fly up a bit now that I trust it more. MJX, remember, they're the company that does the Bugs 3 and all the Bugs series, and I, I should hope that this would work. It feels like a good quality product. The transmitter feels great. Even though it's only 60 bucks, 65 bucks maybe, I know I'm flying something of decent quality here. I've got a good solid Wi-Fi FPV feed. You guys can see that, and all the controls feel really good and responsive although it is struggling to fight the wind when I'm in my manual control mode so let's go back and just see if I can fly this here ah yeah see it's just not fighting it at all I'm full forward I know I've you're not getting the okay okay I apologize I sincerely apologize not getting the extra beeps. there is one button that is a null button and as a matter of fact, I think they have it labeled backwards in the manual because I, I was hitting that button and it wasn't doing anything. So when I let go of the controls, that's when it decides to lock in place. That's so cool. I like that. I do too. Let's hit the rates one more time. So we do have two rates. One beep for low rates, which cannot fight wind. Two beeps for high rates, which can fight wind. Not bad. We can turn our lights on and off with the button over by the big red button. So can you see that little bit of red light there? Because I can. Probably not. I can with my own eye though. Well, let's get closer. Let's get this for everybody. Everyone deserves Keep to see though. this. I will. I will. We'll get it closer. You guys see those lights I can now? See it now? Okay, so I'm gonna hit the button. Lights go off. Oh. So we do have the option to turn the lights on and off. Cool. I like that. Let's fly this around some. Red is the back. Red is the back Sounds on nice. this. Yeah, people like when red is the back on a more toy grade drone. It's like red tail lights on your car. And blue lights on the front, they look pretty good. MJX, I'm just happy to be flying a drone outside that's working. And I'm trying to keep this facing toward us so you guys can With see With our more. daughter and not having to worry about yeah. her freezing. Amelia's just hanging out, nice. it feels good. Yeah. 
No, I'm, I did have to do, you might be able to see me holding the phone in a funky <laughs> way. Um, I had to do that because Abby's phone is really low on juice and the I had to plug it in. screen recording eats my phone oh, now. It's it crazy. just kills the battery. Yeah. Well, this is a very simple drone. There's not a ton of features to test on it. Uh, uh, we have the high and low rates, we have motor stop start, and we can turn the lights on and off. So the reason for the price tag, I'm guessing, then Optical is flow. Yeah, the visual Look, positioning. It's holding in it's place. Solid. That's all it. Bring I, it down uh, so they can see it with the tree line. I will just, I was going to go out here and just kind of walk yeah, okay. and show everyone that I'm not touching the controller. Actually, I could just set this down and walk a bit and show you. Just walk with it out. Oops. Yeah, here. Lower your lower Sounds the like drone. Sounds like we got an airplane. Lower the drone some more, please. Okay. Oh, you want to ride at the tree line? Yeah. To show how solid and it is. And so they can see you. Gotcha. Okay. Go. okay I'm just gonna go out here. Hold Sayonara. The well, face it the other way so they can see your thumbs not doing something snaky. It's pretty good. That's impressive. That is impressive. Uh, I mean, that's like perfect for a beginner, really is, and perfect for just somebody that likes drones and kind of just wants to impress their friends when they're like, look ma, no hands. <laughs> there we go, I'm recording this plane nice. taking off with the drone. Like the Wi-Fi feed is that good, there's very little latency. Back up some. Yeah. Now I'm flying line of sight to get out of his way quickly. Okay. Yeah, it's not bad, is it? No. Looks like maybe he's testing some things, not taking off. He's got his doggy out here today. Well, that satisfies your dog need for us in our videos. <laughs> Misty is her name. There she is. I think she's been in a video before. It's been a long time. Yeah. He's a traveling RC guy. He comes out and he'll stay in his trailer. He, he basically searches for places that aren't extremely windy because he's from like toward the lakes, mm -hmm, right? Mm -hmm. It's always Up really windy. So he travels down here during the winter on good weather weekends so he can get some flights in. I like what he does. I commend it a lot. Anyway, I like a little drone that I can actually point the camera at whatever it is I want to get a shot of and get it and this drone lets me do that it's really a funny feeling to when you take your hands off the sticks for a second you're still drifting but saying when i yaw and stuff the wind will carry it but then i take watch i let my hand off the stick and it drifts back in the wind a little and, and then, then it's it like locks. okay all right i need to lock in place yeah. so when you take your cool. hands off the sticks on this that's when it really locks in place that's cool yeah i like that a lot it's working really well it really is the altitude hold is He's working well off. too. He's off. I want to record it. Yeah, I kind of got it in the corner of this. I wasn't really ready. And I don't have a ton of control over getting something fast, but we got it. <laughs> He's in the air. Let me fly up a little bit more. See if this will still work. It's always fun to have a plane in the background. Yeah, I know. I like it a lot. Drones. I like it. Oh, he did a very high loop. That's yep, why I didn't I see him. I saw it. There, I can see him. I got him. Just in the top corner of my... I didn't want to fly much higher. It is windy, and the higher you go, the windier it is, or potentially can be up there. But I still feel like I have a lot of control over this in the higher rates, and I could fight quite a bit of wind if I needed to. So I have a question. Okay. Did you just start smelling like chicken? Like food? Uh, there's a dog food plant up here. <laughs> I don't know, it smells no, good. No, that's, that's the dog food plant. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, you always said it smelled bad. Yeah, most of the time it does. They're making the chicken today. Yeah. <laughs> I smell chicken. It does kind of smell like fried chicken, but most of the time it smells horrible. I'm surprised you didn't like that. Oh, the comments we're going to get now. <laughs> <laughs> I am hungry. I am too. Can you tell? Well, it's locked in. How That's long just do you think so the nice. It's going to be. You know, we I think we hit record and took off at about 45 seconds, so yep. we're up to 8 minutes, 20 seconds right no, now. At, I'm at 7.5 on this camera. That's so. not bad. Yeah. <clears throat> it's videos like these where we need to have something ready. To, we need to go live for this part of the video so we can talk to you guys because <laughs> this is just a good drone. Yeah. It's just flying really well, but we like to show you guys the full flight because our channel our channel, if you're just new to our channel, is all about 
honesty of the products. And I'd like our, to show you the full flight. experience, which that's right. You know, your experience is gonna be right out of the box and just get it in the air. Yeah, that's what we're showing you. Not 20 flights in. We're a pro at flying it. We know everything there is to know about it. We just want you to have a real experience here on our channel. Yes, like if you've ever watched any of our DJI videos, you'll know that we like DJI stuff. Oh, it was facing us. Yeah, it, it's been facing us. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Yeah, you'll know that we love DJI stuff, but we are real about it. And we tell you guys the stuff that we don't like too. And guess what? DJI doesn't like that. Most companies don't like hearing bad things about their products. So it's very rare for someone to send us something like that. Uh, almost never happens. We're very, uh, very upfront with you guys when it comes to what we think of the drone, we let you know everything good and bad. So if you like what we do, you appreciate what you do, what we do for you guys, and you want to support us and our endeavors, then swing by our Patreon page at the end of this video. We'll have it linked uh, right by this drone, actually. And at the end of this video, you can see it, little orange icon. It's auto landing because our battery is low. That wasn't um, too bad. Well, finally, a drone that works. And that's kind of what I was talking about with supporting us on Patreon and companies that don't like honest channels and stuff. We just featured a couple drones on our channel. One of which used to be a $500 drone. Now you can get it for about 200, 230 or so. And it had so many bells and whistles, basically none of them worked at all. But we told you guys that. You think that guy, that companies don't like us a whole lot anymore now? Probably not. This, the MJX little drone, was amazing. I don't, I can't remember the numbers and letters associated with it, but this was awesome. It only had three things, lights on and off, vis visual positioning hold, high and low rates. But you know what? It worked, Wi-Fi, FPV and stuff too. But it looks pretty good and it works. And I give it two thumbs up, I like that a lot. Keep it simple, make it work, give us a good experience. This was nice. What do we have, like a 10 minute flight? Yeah, so it, was, got, it was nine, but it's pretty, really good. Not bad, not bad for something around the 60, $65 price point. If you like this too, and you're just looking for a simple drone to try the hobby out, maybe you don't have a camera drone yet, you don't really want to mess with the GPS, but you still like the idea of it holding in place when you let go of the controls, this was great. It's pretty windy out, and it held in place really well. I like this drone a lot. Two big thumbs up. We'll have a link in the description box below. And if you want to support us in what we do for the hobby, for the channel and everything, we'll have our Patreon link in the description box below as well. It really means a lot to us. To our existing patrons, you're the reason we're able to keep our channel honest and not sugarcoat things, let you guys know the pros and the cons, and always be honest with you guys. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you in the next video. Bye!